welcome back to a brand new video. So, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be talking about how to find yourself again when you are feeling lost. Now, before we get started, I have a little assignment for you. In the comment section below, write down how you are feeling at this moment. Are you feeling exhausted because you just got home from work? Are you feeling tired? Are you feeling excited? Are you feeling optimistic? Are you feeling hopeful? How are you feeling? I would love to know. And by the way, I do weekly check-ins in my community just so we can touch bases and give you a little bit of encouragement. Sometimes you all give me a little bit of encouragement. So be sure to subscribe if you have not already and check out the community tab as well. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. The one thing I want to say is that if you are in the midst of finding yourself, rediscovering who you are, or if you have felt completely lost, right, and you're like, okay, I just got a relationship, or I just had a baby, or I just quit my job, or whatever it might be, I just moved to this new town, I just, I don't know who I am, I get that. I have went through all of that stuff except for the baby portion. We're not there yet. But I have went through extreme periods where I felt completely lost and I needed to find out who I was again. And I honestly had no one to talk to about it because I have always been the go-to person. The person that is supposed to have all the answers. The person that is supposed to, you know, when somebody needs help or when someone needs something, I have to be the one with the emergency savings. I have to be the one with the A, B, and C plan for them. So when I was trying to find myself or rediscover who I was after dealing with, honestly, two mm -hmm. miscarriages, which left me feeling like a complete imbecile, a waste of life, because I can't even do the one thing that God designed me to do after losing my foundation, losing my home, losing my only relationship, losing everything that defined who I thought I was. Y'all, I was a complete mess. I was a depressed mess. And the only thing, the only person, the only spirit that I had to turn to was God. And the one thing that I got out of all of that heartbreak, out of the pain, out of the losses, out of the, the plague from COVID that we all went through, out of the homelessness, was that you did not go through all of that for no reason. Trust and believe, God did not forget about you. So when you are going, when you are rediscovering yourself, understand that you have a purpose to fulfill. Now let's move on to the tips because that is the whole reason why you are here. But the first thing I want to say is this. And now this is, I ain't gonna lie, this, this just changed the game for me. When I thought about it like this, it changed the game for me. When you are finding yourself, it is literally deciding what do you want your legacy to be. When you are trying to define who you are, redefine yourself, find yourself again, however you want to put it. Simply think of it like this. What do I want my legacy to be when I leave? That is going to help you determine who you are and who you are trying to be in the future. Girl, I'm trying about so bad I say girl, but y'all, mm. now if you don't have a mindset shift, and that statement alone, I need you to rewind this video. Go ahead and rewind it and listen to me say it again, okay? Because the moment I started thinking that way, I stopped thinking about I, what type of car I'm driving, what type of neighborhood I'm living in, what type of city, what type of man, what type of clothes that I wanted to, to wear. I stopped allowing those things to define who I was and I started thinking about what is the legacy I want to leave behind? How do I want people to feel about me when I leave? I, what do I want to be known for? And what I came up with was I want to be known for being a nice person. I want to know for being passionate. I want to be known for being, you know, a God-fearing woman. I want to be known for being loyal, a good friend, a great mother. I want to be known for someone who truly tried to reach out and touch and inspire people. And that is how I live my life now. Now, I say now with emphasis because uh, I didn't always used to look at life that way. I didn't always used to process life the way that I process it now. And that goes into my second tip. The way you process life is going to determine the life that you create for yourself. So when you are going through this redefining period, when you are trying to redefine yourself, find yourself again, basically, Ask yourself, how are you processing the events, things that happen into your life? Meaning, let's say you just got out of a horrible relationship. 
You could say, I just spent five years. They took five years of my life that I would never get back. Or you can say, you know what? I really figured out who I was. I figured out the things I don't like. There was a, there was some tremendous life lessons that I learned. And guess what? That's just one person. I still have 20, 30 years ahead of me. I'm so glad that I got that lesson out the way. Or let's say you are like me. You are having a really hard time bearing children. The way that you process and look at that outcome and that information can be very, you know, depressing and say, dang, what am I here for if I can't bear children? The one thing that I feel like, you know, I should be able to do. Or you can look at it and say, guess what? I get to keep trying. Um, I'm, I don't have children yet, so I, I get a little bit more freedom. And you can say, I get to adopt. Now, adopting is something that, honestly, I've always wanted to do, whether I bear children or not. But now I'm more excited about the opportunity because the way I look at it, the way I'm processing it is, okay, God wanted me to adopt children. Because, trust me, we ain't had no kids, so I must be meant to adopt. The way that you process information is going to help define who you are and the outcome of your life. I honestly believe that. Like, no cap, I believe that. Okay, so... The next tip for you is a self-analyzing question. And y'all know how much I love these questions. Y'all know I was going to throw one in there. That is this. Are you truly lost and you are trying to find yourself? Or do you feel lost? Because a feeling is temporary. Now, let's say that you're like, okay, I might not be lost, but I'm feeling lost. And it feels real, real then that means that you have options. That means that you know what you're supposed to do, but you're struggling with what decision to make. Then it goes back to the very first tip that I gave you. How do you want to be defined when you leave? What do you want your legacy to be? That is going to help you with the scenario of whether you're feeling lost or you're actually lost. Okay, the next thing I want to tell you is more of a statement, something that I discovered through trial and error, which was that when you are trying to find out who you are, working harder, waking up at 4 a.m., working more, you know, reading faster, typing faster, doing all these productive tips and tricks and things, they're not going to really help define who you are. And it's so crazy because the first thing that we want to do as humans when we are trying to rediscover ourselves or when we are feeling lost is we want to work harder. We feel like that working harder is going to help us discover ourselves, which makes no sense. I do believe this, though. I will counteract that and say that if you are going to work hard, make sure you are working hard at something that you are passionate about like these videos y'all i absolutely love these videos i have a day job but the thing that i work you know the hardest on and i try to prove every single time i do a video is how it appears how do i look the graphics and things of that nature so if you are going to choose to go down that route and work harder to try to discover who you are let that let that action be towards something that you are truly passionate about don't go work harder at a job that you don't want to be at in five or six years that you don't want to be your legacy because when i pass away i want my videos to be my legacy i want what i'm trying to pour into you all to be part of my legacy i will work hard at doing that but other than that stop thinking that you waking up at 4 a.m in the morning and you you know going harder in the gym and you working all those longer hours are going to define who you are that's that that's not that's going to strengthen some things but it's not going to define you all right so let's move on to the next tip that was just a statement that i wanted to throw in there real quick okay so the next tip that i have for you all is something that i'm constantly preaching about in my videos but it just applies for a lot of scenarios and especially this one in order to find who you are in order to rediscover who you are you have to let the past go you have to let it go and you have to give it to God okay you have to let it go y'all are holding on to the past like it owes you something and I get that because a lot of times including me we hold on to traumatic events we hold on to the past because 
we use them as, you know, check marks, life lessons, things that we want to make sure that we bookmark so that in case it happens again, we know what to look out for. We know what to do. But what that is doing it is holding you down. You know that picture with the lady with the baggage? That is what holding on to the past is. It's a bunch of unnecessary baggage. And guess what happens? Nine times out of ten, you are going to drag that baggage into your new life, into your fresh, clean house. And it's going to stink up the whole joint. So it's best that you let it go. You let it go, you give it to God. You look at it as it's something that happened. You are not going to forget it. Like, that's the crazy part. We think that if we don't... um if we don't hold on to the pain, we're going to forget that there was pain. When you burnt your hand on a stove, did you forget that there was pain? No. Because guess what? You go to the stove and you cook, right? So when you're dating, you're not going to forget what a liar is or what a narcissist is or what someone who is unfair. You're not going to forget those things. But you don't need to hold on to them so daggone tightly. So if my like best advice to you, if you are trying to redefine who you are and you're trying to find yourself, you have to let the old person go all that old drama you have to let it go and i am telling you that from experience i have missed out on some relationships some friendships some business relationships all types of good stuff because i was holding on to the past so bad that i didn't want to take advantage of the opportunities that were in front of me i wasn't ready to you know out the way i was looking at life was just really pessimistic instead of optimistic and i'm not looking at life no more that way i'm like no forget that i'm letting all that all i'm letting it go so with that being said y'all i'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video i hope that you enjoyed it hopefully these tips helped you um be sure to drop a purple heart i love that when you all do that i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye